Quiet, numbskulls, I'm broadcasting. Ben Sorensen's Real Country Interviews, bringing you the stars of country. It's Ben Sorensen here and this is my Real Country and as always I am very, very pleased uh, to be joined by my good mate Lee Kernigan. G'day buddy, how are you? Ben, how are you, mate? Good to see you. I know. This Skype interview thing, uh, I actually do need to thank you for that uh, because it was at Gympie uh, a couple of years ago when we first did our video uh, Skype uh, interview and uh, I thought, what a great idea. Let's keep it going. So thank you very much, Mr. Kernigan. Well, mate, it's, uh, it's fantastic to be doing This is the very first Skype interview I've ever done. So... We're making history. <laughs> and that seems to be what we do because, uh, well, more so you than me, because you're making uh, some great country music history yourself with the amount of fantastic music you're putting out there and this brand new album uh, called Ultimate Hits, which I'm very, very impressed with. Well, that's what I've been working on uh, here over the last uh, month or so. In fact, uh, the way that I do it is... Um, it started on Facebook, and I just put it out to everybody. Um, look, tell us what songs you, you would particularly like on the ultimate hits. And um, there were hundreds of requests that came through. And um, I sat right here uh, going through each and every request, um, A, being it with the radio hits and the stage hits and all of that. And basically, we just put the top-rated 42 tracks together and... Um, We've, we've, it's just gone to um, for pre-sale now. Uh, now pre-sale, that's really, really exciting because you're doing something that I've never heard of before and that's the Wall of Fame. So yes. Can you, can you tell me a little more about that so that, so that it, we can all possibly get on the Wall of Fame because it's always good to have a rock star yeah. moment in your life? Yeah. Well, mate, what I wanted to do was to make the people who made these songs hits, and I'm talking about fans out there, you know, people who've come to the shows, bought the records, just supported me over the last, gee, you know, nearly 20 years. I, I want them included in the credits of this, of this Ultimate Hits booklet. And so um, with the help of ABC and Sanity and JB Hi-Fi, what we've done is that anybody who pre-orders uh, before, I think, the middle of August will have their name included in that wall of fame in, in the booklet and it'll be there for life. So That is you know, so impressive. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing names of mates and people that I've spoken to on the net and, and at shows to see their names in there because I know that they put me on the map and this is my way of saying thank you and he, here we are. We've done it together. Oh, and that's, I think that says a lot about... Uh, not only the sort of fellow that you are, but also the spirit of Australia and the spirit of Australian country. And uh, I think it, it definitely is a brilliant idea. And uh, I'm sure, well, I'm sure <laughs> that'll be the uh, the biggest inlay booklet of any CD <laughs> ever. As if 42 <laughs> tracks isn't enough, you're going to have all these names. Yeah, well, it'll be a big, yeah, it'll be a thick booklet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but it's uh, two CDs on the ult ultimate hits. And, now, what, um, what's your favourite track on there? Because 42 songs is, is a lot. Well, um, is it okay if I refer to my notes? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. <laughs> well, looking at it, um, there's songs on there like Gun to Windy Moon, which, you know, it was the first time I was in the studio with Trisha Yearwood and just to, to, to sing with somebody uh, like her, you understand why she's won Grammys, you know. Yeah. Um, so, so, and also, the thing about Gun to Windy Moon was I just met my wife, um, Robbie, um, and she'd just been up to the Gimpy Muster and seen me play for the first time. And um, I was making this album called Hat Town, and we were falling in love. And so I got good memories of that record, the Hat Town record. Wow. Uh, so there's, there's heaps of stuff here, mate, that have all, you know, resonate with me in different ways, you know. Well, you've been collaborating for a long time now, not not that long, not that long, but you've been collaborating for a while, and Trisha Yearwood, uh, absolutely amazing song there, but you've done it recently again with Mr. Dirks Bentley and your phantasmical, that's a new word, uh, <laughs> film clip, Scar. It is brilliant, mate. 
Yes, well, we've all got scars. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but, some deeper than others. Yeah, some self-inflicted, some others. not Some inflicted by third parties. Yes, yes, after a few too many drinks in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, well, we made that clip. Um, it all started again. Um, the whole thing, Scars, um, the single, it all started right here. I was in this room uh, on um, Skype to Nashville where we were uh, doing the mixes on Planet Country. And uh, a familiar face popped into the studio and it was Dirk Bentley. And he said, hey, man, how you going, you know? And, and he, he said, I've just heard your song, uh, Love in the Time of Drought, and I've and uh, that, I love that song called Dirt and, and you, you got one there called Scars. Hey, man, I love that song. And uh, we got talking and we figured that maybe we could make it into a duet and um, it's all just sort of come to fruition now and, and the, um, the music video debuted on uh, YouTube last night. So oh, well, I'm sure pretty exciting. Got plenty of hits. And uh, that's actually going to be the uh, video that I'll play after uh, this interview for our uh, YouTube viewers. And obviously, you'll hear the audio on radio right across Australia. Uh, but before we talk a little more about the song itself, where are you? This is my new Skype question. Uh-huh. Um, I'm in my, um, I guess it's my home studio. Um, if you look over my shoulder there, there's a, I don't know if you can see the keyboard back over there. Yep. Um, but that's where I wrote "Love in the Time of Drought." Wow! Uh, uh, in fact, um, we uh, Maddie Scullion was right here with me in this room when we wrote "Scars." That was the first song that we ever wrote together. Uh, "Scars," right here, right there, and um, oh, heaps of other songs like um, "Must Have Done Something Right" um, was written there. And I don't know if you can see up on the on the wall. There's a little kind of goldy kind of picture. Yep. Uh, well. My wife, Robbie, took a picture of the waveform that you see when you're, you know, when you're mixing an album and you, yep. and, you, and so the on the, wave. the sine wave uh, on, on the actual desk uh, of the mixer, when I was singing something right, she just took a picture of that and then she painted it and uh, she gave it to me for my birthday last year. Isn't that uh, amazing? Yeah, so it's a cool little thing and... Um, here. Um, I only have one gold guitar down here, um, but this is the one that means the most. It's the, um, it's the one for top selling album of the year. This is the one they can't take off you. If you're top <laughs> selling album, you know, nobody's going to take it off you. So. Uh. <laughs> the others live with your ARIA award in the golden guitar bar that you created. Is that still in existence and working hard? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, so, you, you've got quite a few awards. Yeah, but uh, you're only as good as your last song or your last album. The awards don't really, you know, they're great to sort of reflect on, but, you know, you're always sort of working towards the future and, and trying to come up with something, you know, better. Well, I, I discovered, uh, I think it was at the age of 12, it was my first sports carnival that I ever had at school. And yeah. I, I lost. I'm really, really bad at sports, if you couldn't tell. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, I worked out then that everyone else was a bit of a mug for running this race and trying really hard because I found a shop just down the road that sells all these awards. And you can just <laughs> look in there and buy them. So Problem solved. Yeah, life all got a lot easier net. after that, mate. There's no prestige there, but it's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> now, we just the golden guitar shop now, too. Yeah, you can all yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, old guitars and bugger Tamworth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. It is always great fun to chat to you. Now, one other thing I did notice, I'm a big fan of, um, of motorbikes. Uh, I'm, a, I'm yeah. a road bike man myself, and uh, normally I try and stay upright on it, which doesn't always happen for me. But um, you're a fan of dirt bikes. Yeah. And how's, yeah. how's the new one going? Fantastic. Um, I've got a uh, WR250F um, Yamaha. I, I'm, a, I'm a Yamaha fella. I, you know, my first motorbike when I was nine or ten years old was a uh, Yamaha TY80 Trials. Oh, nice. And nice. Uh, that's how I actually got this broken nose. <laughs> 
See? Bang. One afternoon after school. A rush oh, of blood. No. Bang. Nose hits the ground. But, um, no, I love the bikes and um, I've got a uh, Tenere 660 um, at the moment. Um, I really like that. Have you seen that um, Long Way Round? Yep. And uh, Long Way Down? Yeah. Um, is it Charlie Borman and who's, who's the other guy? Oh, Ethan. Now, now you're testing me. Everybody will know, yeah. 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 Um, so, um, yeah, look, I, I love getting out to the bush. Um, you know, the, my boys, Jet and Rock, they've got a um, – Rocky's got a TTR 50 mm. and Jet's got a TTR 110. Because, you know, it's just, I, so, well, I, I agree, mate, and I think that riding bikes, particularly motorbikes, the earlier you start, the better you are at it. And yeah. I, I started yeah. really, really late. <laughs> and that's why my, my road bike – has uh, my ninja has a couple of scratches down the side, uh, but not as many as it would have had if my limbs didn't protect it. So, <laughs> mate, if I knew that you'd been batted around a little bit on the, on the ninja, we would have we would have definitely brought you into audition for the scars clip. Oh, mate, that would have been awesome. <laughs> you could have been in that. <laughs> yeah, and I, I could have possibly created uh, a, a YouTube viral hit. By actually breaking my leg or arm on your video clip. Well, uh, look, we might do the director's cut. So, no one's done that in a country clip. No one's, you know, yeah. almost killed themselves in a country clip. So there you go. That's another first. Now, well, to, speaking of breaking bits and pieces, um, scars. Tell me about the song. Well, um, as I was saying, it, it just started over there. The very first songwriting uh, session with Matt Scullion. And um, he'd been writing with Laurie Minson in Tamworth and on a song called Scars. And we sort of just toughened it up a little bit over there. And, um, you know, I grew up listening to Hank Jr., David Allen Coe, um, Waylon, and those, all of those kind of outlaws that, that rocked hard. And um, I guess I wanted to bring as much of that kind of southern rock influence into that song as I could and it, that's where it sort of happened. Um, Maddie got my, um, I got a Gib, got my Gibson. Can I show you my Gibson? Yeah. A um, few people would have seen this um, uh, on, this is the one we used on the Dirt uh, music video and we, um, we actually used the gold top um, on Dirt on the album but I'm not sure if we use this one on, might have used this one on Scars but yeah, aren't they beautiful? They are gorgeous. Yeah. If it was, um, like, if it was a girl, you'd marry it, wouldn't you? Well, you... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Only until it came time to restring it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd have no trouble replacing the G-string, would you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. But uh, it's, bit... uh, it's the air on <laughs> yeah, a G-string you got to watch for. <laughs> Mate, you it is a like fan- a clean image when before uh, <laughs> before this interview began, and I said, "Well, we'll sure trash that." <laughs> and a, a, again, we've succeeded. It's brilliant. <laughs> um, I love the uh, the new so- song "Scar." The video clip is simply stunning. Don't forget to pick up the ultimate hits or pre-order it at JB Hi-Fi so you can get your name on the wall of fame. Once again, it's time to can the yakin and get to uh, the fantastic video clip. Thank you very much, Mr. Lee Kernigan. Thanks, mate. Great talking to you, Ben, and to everybody uh, tuned in. Uh, let's do it again sometime. It's been fun. Will do. time I stack my bike A piece of history on my lip The day I learned how to fight I wouldn't listen I had to learn You play with fire You're gonna get burned Skies Talking about stories Summer I 
got mine Too much throttle and some gravel edges All I saw was dust And my whole life flashing before me I can still feel them stitching me up I wouldn't listen I had to learn You play with fire You're gonna get burned Scars Talking about stories Some are like medals We wear with glory Scars Fading with time You got yours And I got mine Another Ben Sorensen Real Country interview. Hear this interview and many more at www.realcountrymix.com.